Hey yeah, folks, my name's Phil Dre, and we are back in SevTech. So, let me go ahead and uh, get out of this view and get started. So, as you can see, it is night. Oh, and that's a, that's a new moon. And, um, so I've been, I've been collecting a few of the, uh, few of the constellations here. I have so far Decidia and Orsio. Uh, but I really like to make it easier to collect more of them. So I think we're going to start off with, we're going to uh, upgrade the looking glass. So in order to do that, so we need looking glass, some gold, planks, and some sticks. Let me put this in here. So we need planks and those there. And oh god, I hope this is enough. There's enough, uh... Oh no, there isn't. Ah, oh, I ran out of time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm, uh, that's okay, I'll have to wait until, I'll have to wait until the next night then, uh, to get, to get more starlight, because it needs to be, it needs to be up to where this line is here. Yeah, so, so next time. Uh, but in the meantime, there's, uh, there's a bunch of stuff, let me just swim, fast for me to swim through the water than anything else, there we go. Swim like a fish. Uh, there's a bunch of uh, crafting, actually, that I would like to do. I've been gathering up all the materials I need for it. So, first thing is, um, I have my backpack equipped. Here it is. And it's it's only a tier 2. I can make bigger backpacks now. So, uh, I want to do that. Um, I can't remember. <laughs> If I, I can't remember if I, need, if I should empty this first. I should probably empty it first. That seems like a good idea. Okay, I'm just going to take the time to do that real quick. And then we'll get right on this. And there we go. Okay, so it is now empty. So what we're going to need to, uh, to get this is we're going to need some more of the upgrades. So you remember that I made the stone ones before, that's the current tier it's at. So I want to make an iron one and a gold one. The iron one requires the stone one. And then you need uh, iron and some leather. Now I'm going to make... Uh, do I need two of these actually? No, I only need one. Yeah, I only need one of those. And then we're going to use the iron... Oh, wait, no, no, I do need two. I think, because I can't, I don't think I can just put, like, gold on it. You know, let's find out. Let's find out if I can just directly upgrade it. So if I go like that, no, I can't. Okay, yes, yeah, so I do need the iron one. That's fine. I should have the materials for that. Okay, so now I should be able to upgrade. Yep, yeah, that's now tier three. Let's just see how much space is in here. That's another row. Okay. So the gold upgrade should add one more row. There we go. Nice. Um, but I would like some more room. So you can see that we can actually make these, uh, these iron backpacks. So let's start off with our basic backpack. So that is leather, wool, a storage crate. And I have enough. Yeah, yeah, I have enough. So I get one of those. Then we can upgrade it with iron, with iron plates. Base backpack and chest. I already had those made. And then we can do the, oops. We can do the gold version. There we go. And this one is already, <laughs> is already uh, six rows there. So now I have two bags of the same size. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one back on my back here. And I'll keep that one. I'll keep, uh, you know, I'll put this one in here. This will be like my, I can't put it in there. Oh, okay. I thought I could, but I can't. Uh, that, that I guess kind of makes sense. But yeah, this can be like my has extra stuff needs to put it somewhere <laughs> sort of thing. Uh, and then. Uh, there was another thing I want to make. It's actually on the progression here. It is the weirding gadget. So, 
I'll just look that up. Yeah, this requires a lot of gold plus an ender pearl. <laughs> but, uh, oh yeah, that's not. I have all the materials for it already. Smelted up a whole bunch of gold for it. Ta da! We have a weirding gadget. So this thing is. Uh, it's basically a chunk loader. So it does a 3x3 three three area. You don't really get to decide what it does. Like 3x3 three, three three chunks, I should say. So if we. Oh, what's the key for chunks? There we go. Hmm. We have to decide which. Our, our, our base is actually pretty big. So we have to decide which 3x3 three three area we want to load. Um, hmm, I would say we don't, we don't really need the, the blood altar yet. Yeah, I would say maybe we'll put it in this chunk. And that should, should load most of our stuff. So I'm just going to stick it right there. It doesn't, doesn't have a GUI or anything. Right, looks like I'm punching it. <laughs> but yeah, and then it... Uh, the way I think this thing works is that it keeps your chunks loaded for uh, seven days. And if you haven't logged on in that time, then it will unload those chunks. So it's actually kind of... Uh, oops, that is not the key I wanted. It's actually kind of uh, a nice thing because um, it, it's good for servers that way. Because you're not having chunks loaded all the time if the person hasn't returned in who knows how long. Um, and what was there? What was the wool and the sugar cane for? I just have that. I may have just had that. I don't think it was for anything in particular. Yeah, I still don't know why I don't have this. Because I I placed I placed prismarine down. Or maybe I didn't like it because I probably didn't like it because of the way I did it with the with the chiseling bits. Oh, not a huge deal. Don't worry about it terribly much. Oh yes, so uh we so let's see if we can do the extended crafting. Um that's not helpful. <laughs> crafting Don't know why it didn't appear. Oh that's right. That's right, this requires all the stardust. I remember now. What do we what do we even need this thing for? Oh, to make the journey map token. That's okay, I'm gonna have to find some way to get that much stardust. Um which means probably I I mean it means either like finding it out in the world or it means gathering a whole lot of ender dust. Like a whole lot of ender dust. Yeah. So, um, in the meantime, is there any? What else can I do? Let me look at the uh, astral tome. See if there's anything we can do. Oh, oh, I know. It was. No, it wasn't under attunement. Um. I can use the S and W keys. Oh, that's so much better with a controller because <laughs> I don't have the the scroll wheel. Yeah. Anyways. Um. Oh, no. Back. Go back. Yes, the cave illuminator. So that requires illumination powder, uh, rune marble, and some aquamarine. The illumination powder is just... Oh. <laughs> right. Not in stage three yet. Uh, unless there's another recipe for it. There might be... Cave illuminator. Aha! There is! Ah, see? Gotta, always gotta check uh, JEI in this thing. Yeah, it only makes eight, but it's uh, better than nothing. Okay, so I'm gonna have to get sand. Easy enough. Gunpowder. I think I have some downstairs. And glass shards. Which are made from more sand. Okay, that's fine. We have, we can make all that down here. So let's, let's head on down. Uh, we'll go get some sand. And I believe you can just make the sand piles, yeah, out of that. Okay, so we're gonna need 
more of those. And then half of these are going to go on here. Three, four. Uh, the other half we're going to use. Okay, so we're also going to need. Nope, that's the wrong thing. And this side. Yeah, because we only need two of the of the powders to get this thing. Yeah, so we're also going to need um, gunpowder and one aquamarine. Let me get that other uh, gunpowder and one aquamarine. There we go. And the glass shards should be about done now. There they are. Uh, and to make the cave lunar, we're gonna need two more aquamarine and ruined marble. So two. Oh, that's that's too many. Two more aquamarine, and uh, we'll grab some marble. Just four. Yep. Yeah. And we will use our chisel. Oh, wait, that I didn't actually put back in here. <laughs> Just give me a minute. Okay, I have all that stuff back in there. And now we're going to want the chisel. We're going to want to make this into rune marble. There we are. Let's head out to the altar out here. Oh, it's getting night. Ah, stupid thing there. I really gotta fix fit. Dang it! <laughs> I really have to fix this up. My sad looking door there. Okay, so actually, we might be able to make this right away. Maybe? Well, it's getting close. Let me get the, uh. the resonating wand out. Just a little bit more. We can make it. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and get this made. Should be done any time now. You're gonna... There we go. Alright, we have a telescope. I was gonna put it there. Now we should... Yes, we can much easier see the... Uh, the stars now, and you just use these arrows to to go. Oh, wow, there's a lot we actually haven't discovered. Um, okay, I'm gonna take the time to actually before before I do anything, let me go ahead and make this this powder first. So right, glass shards like that, sand, gunpowder. Okay, so glass shards, sand. And I think this goes here, and the gunpowder goes there. Yes! Excellent, we'll get that started. Come on! There we go. And there's the illumination powders. Now we can make the uh, cave illuminator. So that's uh, the rune marble, aquamarine, and the illumination powder. So like this. Rune marble and the... Green. Perfect. Excellent. That was much faster. So this thing, when you put it down, um, any underground areas like nearby, and it's, it has quite a range on it, will, uh, will, will slowly over time light up. So these are really handy for, uh, clay, claves, caves that you eventually want to explore. Um, Mountain Papa was saying that he we he he used one of his um on some of the towers in the Twilight Forest because that's always nighttime and it cleared out a lot of stuff for him. So yeah, and they look they look cool too. They like they like have these little particles and stuff and they're kinda like see through sometimes. But yeah, those are really cool and, and you can pick them up. It's not it's not permanent. Uh the light source that they put down I think are permanent. If I remember correctly. That sounds right, anyways. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to take some time to uh, get these constellations while it's still night. And uh, I'll, I'll bring you back once I'm done.
Okay, so I took the time to find Ivatas. And I also got Amara. So now that is four of them. I'm just going to take a look here. So now the only one I'm missing is Visio, which I think is probably just just needs to be another moon phase. So I bet you like the next night or the night after I will be able to find. Uh, yeah, I will be able to find uh, Visio. So with that done. Um, what? Right, so the next thing we really got to do is go to the Twilight Forest. Uh, unless I can progress further in Astral Sorcery, the next thing is Attunement. So I think in order to... In order to progress in that, I can make this telescope and then there's the whole linking stuff. I think in order to progress in that, I need to make the next version, oh boy, of the altar. <laughs> Which looks like, okay, so I am actually going to need to go to the Twilight Forest. Right. And in order to get to the Twilight Forest, uh, yeah, so fill a two by two hole with water, surround it with plants, saplings or flowers, and throw in a star metal ingot. Now, star metal ingots are not <laughs> terribly easy to make. Because they require, uh, like, yeah. Um, yeah, because I actually need to make this star metal. Normally you would do this, but because iron ore does not exist in such a way in this game, uh, I'm going to need to do this starlight ultra way. So, Nocturne Powder. Nocturnal Powder. Oh, that's a new one. Okay. So I'll have to make some of that. Add the materials for that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna need iron. The, the, the two Stardust is what really sucks, because that stuff's hard to find. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, get the ingredients prepared. And then I will come back once we're ready, and hopefully I don't need too much Starlight. Yes, so I'll be back. Okay, it is raining again, but uh, I have the ingredients to get started on this. So, uh, first thing we're going to need to do is actually make the nocturnal powder, which is uh, black dye powder, plus some coal, some illumination powder, and lapis. So, do the coal there, illumination powder there, I think. And that up there, is that? Yes, okay. And then I just need my resonating wand. And you can see it doesn't require much starlight at all. We actually have enough during the day. Okay, so I have that. Now to make this. Okay, so the nocturnal powders go there. The illumination powders go in the corners. Like... So, and these over here, and then it's, oh, one thing, um, stardust top and bottom, stone over there, stardust there and there, and stone there, and, oops, nope, there. We're gonna need a lot more starlight, so that's gonna have to wait till night. Um. I'm just going to go ahead and wait. I might go searching for more Stardust and uh, see if I can get some. And maybe maybe get some more. Yeah, I'm really down on rock crystals. I think So I think I'll go mining uh, rock crystals and Stardust. So I will be back once it is night. I'll take this with me and put it to some good use. Actually, I know what I can do. Uh, I have been... Uh, just, here, let me get, get out of these reeds. There we go. Um, I have been putting off making some baubles. So, like for example, the climbing glove. So what we can do is we can make that so that's iron plus some leather and some black dye. And then uh, I think we have a bunch of glue still. Let's find out. Do we have... Yes, we have plenty of glue. I need three. Yes. 
And then some leather. What? Where, where did all my leather go? Oh, it's over there. I was like, I swear I have a bunch. Uh, I think that was too much. Yeah, that's okay. And then the other piece of black dye that we used before. And a piece of iron. So let's go ahead and get this made. Ta-da! So these uh, will allow me to climb on any uh, vertical surface. I'm just going to put it there and I'm going to leave them off for now. I don't, I don't particularly want to use them right now. Um, and the others were, I wanted to make a gluttony charm, so that's wheat, that's some string, and a golden apple, which is just gold around an apple. Uh, let me make sure. Yeah, so there's that one which uses blocks of gold, or just the ingots. I think we're gonna go with the ingots, a little cheaper. An eight. Oh, I'm also going to need string. Oh, it's hemp fibers. Uh, string, I believe. It, oh, there it is. One piece of string. Uh, some wheat and an apple, I think both of which are over here. No, not in there. Uh, three wheat and one apple. Excellent. So let's make the golden apple and the gluttony charm. Now what this does, we put it on our baubles, uh, just says charm. I don't know if that's... Oh, that, that goes in the last slot. So what this does is basically we can eat instantly instead of having to wait for it. And... Uh, then there is a, there's also a portal charm and a sleep charm. I mean, I guess I can make, what's the sleep charm made of? Right! The bed! That was what I had the wool for! I knew I made that extra roll for a reason. Okay, let's take those three wool. Uh, we'll take three planks. What else am I going to need for this? Uh, that is four more leather and four sticks. Two, three. Two, three, four. There we go. So, let's make another bed. I'm going to make a sleep charm. All right, I think um, it can only go in the same slot, unfortunately. Yeah, so I'd have to keep one in my inventory, pretty much. They do. They should work in the inventory. I think that's the only. Yeah, that's the only slot they go in. That's fine. Uh, is it... Whoop! No, no! I just want to look up for once. I actually want to go up the stairs. It's not night yet. Um, oops. What? Are there any other charms I want to do? Is charms of keeping? No. Oh, what were the... There were these over here. The biome, the depth meter, and the... Stopwatch. Um, but right, this requires actually going to the Twilight Forest. Depth meter also requires going there. And the stopwatch. Uh, this I can actually do because I think I picked up um, some jars. Like, these actually spawn in the world. They spawned in the, uh... Oh, what were they? Uh, they spawned in the desert, actually, in these weird structures I found. Uh, I don't know if I harvested any more. That's okay. That's not a huge deal. Okay, yeah, so... Oh, it is night. Okay, perfect. Let me, uh... Head out. Okay. How are we doing for starlight? It's almost there. Let me see if there's any new constellations I can find. Um, it's looking like a nope. I heard that Enderman. <laughs> I don't know where he went though. Uh, anyways, um, this is should be just about ready. 
tiny bit more. Come on. There we go. So let's get this made. There we go. Took a little while. Okay, so. Um, yeah, I think the only thing I can really do to turn to star metal is to cook it up. Unfortunately. Which is the way you get more. Oh, well. Okay, so I will go cook this up. And, uh, then I will prepare an area for our twilight portal. Okay, I think I'm ready to do this. So, I surrounded this, this, uh, little thing with grass. I don't know if I can actually do that. It, it says in here, surround with plants, saplings, or flowers. So, I mean, grass is a plant, right? <laughs> Let's see if this works. Okay, and we want to throw the ingot in there. Nope. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to get rid of this grass here. Uh, we will get some flowers instead. I hope modded flowers work because there's a lot of those. Okay, so I have some modded some mod flowers. Let's see if these work. Yes. The answer is yes, it does. <laughs> okay. So there is the Twilight Forest portal. Uh, I think I have everything I need. I mean, I guess I could put this stuff away real quick here. And uh, then we'll head through. Okay, stuff put away. I um, have storage I can use. I have my divination sandal. I have my climbing glove. Uh, yeah. Hopefully this is all I need. Let's, uh, let's head on in. Whee! Whisking you off to the Twilight Forest. Oh. Oh, where am I? <laughs> Ooh. Firefly. Okay, before I forget, <laughs> I need to, uh, I need to mark down... Oh, where am I? I need to mark down this location. This is the portal. There we go. Now we're going to want to make a... There's a map we're going to want to make. Uh, not the empty map. Blank magical map. So we're going to need uh, raven's feathers, we're going to need a firefly, and some torch berries. So this is... Oh, I forgot paper. Oh, I forgot paper. Okay, I'm going to have to go back and get some paper, but, uh, in the meantime, I should be able to get this... Oh, yeah, I can turn the climbing gloves on. Should make my life easier. There we go. Get that firefly. I need a couple of these, actually. And I don't know if I need the cicada for anything. Not sure. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'll have a look around first, and then I will uh, go back for the paper. Oh, this is, whoa. Okay, I don't think I can go in this way yet. Well, I mean, I'm in here, but this is like this is trippy, man. I don't, <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to go this way yet. Let's not. Let's not do that. <laughs> this is roots. Is there? Okay, now this stuff just drops sticks, but I think there's glowing ones that I need to look for, um, that have uh, live roots. Oh, what's this? Looks like ah, that is an acid rain. Seems like it. Okay, so I can't go there. <laughs> I hear, I hear a raven. There it is. I need to kill it. Unfortunately. Sorry. Sorry, little raven. I need, I need your feathers. Because <laughs> I need to make the map focus. Okay, so now I just need to find torch berries. Which I think are in an underground area. Like maybe over he here. Oh, hello. 
Hi. I don't know if that's supposed to be anything. I get the feeling that this is supposed to be something else. It's just hidden. Uh, Alright, yeah, let's see if we can find some torch berries down here. That looks like some right there. Oh, let me get uh, my sigil. Wow, there's a lot of zombies. Okay, hold on. <laughs> let me get some advantage on these guys here. Nope, nope, wait. Stop switching. Yeah, there you go. Just kill yourself with my shield. Problem solved. <laughs> Oh, that's... that's the wrong sigil. Uh... I want... this one. Blood lamp. There we go. Look at that delicious light. Let me... get those. Hi. Sucks to be you. Come on. Do it again. One more time. Oh, fine. You suck. There we go. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing any glowing roots yet. Roots strand. The heck? Oh, there were zombies. There we go. Uh, I will go ahead, since there seems to be some more torch berries around here, I'm gonna go ahead and grab those. Hello! <laughs> Okay, I got an achievement for that. Let's get some of these. There we go. Oh, actually, there's quite a few of them in here. Perfect. I think... can I use these for other things? Okay. Moonworm Queen. What the heck is that? Oh yeah, I need for that as well. I'll take a take a couple more. There we go. Ooh, that goes down deep. I wonder if there's anything interesting down there actually. Oops! Did I just light something on fire? Oh no! I let the firefly on fire. I'm sorry, old firefly. Ah! <laughs> I didn't even know. I thought it was just like a particle effect. And that is, what is that? The copper? Uh, azure, yeah, that is copper. Okay, I still haven't seen any more of any glowing roots or anything. Uh, I'll search around a little more. If I don't find anything, uh, I'm gonna head back and, uh, get some paper made. Okay, I am back in, uh, in the overworld, and I have all the materials that we're gonna need to make the magic map. So, we're gonna need the focus, which is torch berries, fireflies, and raven feathers. Got that. And then to make the blank magic map, we just need some paper. Oh, what's that? Plant papyrus. Nothing I can actually make. <laughs> uh, and the focus. And there we go. Okay, now this is only going to work in the Twilight Forest. I think it's only going to work in Twilight Forest. <laughs> but uh, I'm actually going to go back uh, uh, next time in the next episode. So... That was an interesting foray into the Twilight Forest. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care, everyone. <laughs>